You know, as this picture on your screen right now is LeBron James and, and Lonzo Ball, I want to make this clear to you guys. LeBron James is all in on the Los Angeles Lakers. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no player option on LeBron James' deal. What does that mean? He's all in with the Los Angeles Lakers. Meaning, if after one year, let's say after the 2018-2019 season next year, LeBron wants to be a free agent again, can't do that. He's in that contract. There's no way out. Let's say after 2019, LeBron's like, y'all didn't get any free agents. I just want to leave. I want to go back to Cleveland. I want to go somewhere else. I want to go to Miami. There is no option out. He can't go be a free agent. He has to stick there. And I'm I'm hoping LeBron's got a no trade clause in his contract. I'm sure he does. And, and that, you know, he, he wouldn't be able to be, he can veto any trade that he wanted to do unless the Lakers wanted to trade him, which I doubt. Why would you trade a guy like LeBron, period? You know, there's there's no outs in this deal. And to me, that tells me a lot about where LeBron James' headspace is. He trusts Magic Johnson, Rob Palenka, and the Los Angeles Lakers. He trusts them. He trusts Jeannie Buss and the Los Angeles Lakers. He had that trust in Dan Gilbert and the Cleveland Cavaliers the first time around, right? It was, again, he was young. He was a rookie. He was growing into a man. He was in his first few years in the league. He trusts Dan Gilbert. And then Dan Gilbert stabbed him in the back with that letter. You know, say what you want about LeBron James. Was the decision the right move? Could he have told Cleveland beforehand? Yeah, he could have. But to do that on national TV at the Cleveland Cavaliers' expense, it's one thing. But for Dan Gilbert to go write that letter about somebody who had gave his all to you for eight years, call him all type of names, go go look at Dan Gilbert's letter to LeBron James and the Cleveland, uh, you know, LeBron James after he left for Miami. It was rough. He promised a championship before LeBron got one in Miami. He didn't do that. As a matter of fact, they were the worst team in the NBA for the next four years while LeBron was in Miami. That ladder was rough, you know, and he, he and he didn't put that trust in Dan Gilbert again. He, didn't, he couldn't trust him. I know LeBron thinks what he thinks about Dan Gilbert. I'm sure he thinks he's a white, um, privileged man. I'm sure he thinks of it, that, that of him, who doesn't understand culture. You go, you go to Miami, you sign on for four years. Now, Pat Riley wouldn't give you what you wanted. But he stood by his word and everything that he told you would happen. LeBron just wanted some other perks that Miami just wasn't willing to give. And that's fine. That roster was aging anyway. I believe LeBron would have stayed around if D-Wade was still in his prime. So, you sign on four years in Miami. You go back to Cleveland, you don't sign on for four years. You do player options after one year. You want to get out after one year. Like You want to make sure you can get out. To go back to L.A. and do the entire four years again... With no player option, at this point in your career, still the best in the game. I, it, he has ultimate, he has ultimate trust in his Los Angeles Lakers team to get it right. Maybe he knows something about Kawhi or one of these other big time free agents. He has that trust in that Lakers man, and I, I and I, you got to respect it. And I think it comes from a place of, I believe we're gonna get this done. He wants to bring a championship in, in to Los Angeles, submit his legacy if it's not already submitted. Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, y'all better get it together. Because this brother just signed to you guys four years to be a part of what y'all got going. No opt-out. We'll see if it works out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up. On MrTalaferro.com, shawty.